This, uh, this uh, tool uh, breaks basically the concrete and that's what was used on the, on the deck the night that they were starting doing the demolition. And then the pulverizer, this tool, is used to crunch the concrete. If you're a frequent visitor to Scarborough Town Center, you might have noticed something unusual around the Labor Day long weekend. On the Friday, there was a large six lane bridge stretching across McCowan Road and by Monday night, it was gone completely. Over here, you can see the, the concrete that has been um, basically grinded down and we are reusing this material uh, to backfill and to build our lay down area. So this is Progress Avenue after March. <laughs> Daniel Sanchez is a project director for Scarborough Transit Connect, the consortium working with Metrolinx on the Scarborough subway extension. He says if it feels like the bridge came down faster than usual, it's because it did. Explaining a long closure of McCowan Road below was unacceptable, and crews needed to find a way to bring down the 8,100 ton structure inside a very narrow window. This was a, a very uh, plan to the minute almost uh, operation that started on the Friday night before the on, the on the long weekend, and the traffic needs to be opened back by Tuesday morning. 12 excavators were brought in and positioned in a perimeter surrounding the bridge, all working around the clock, gradually toward the center until nothing was left. The demo anticipated to take 77 hours, completed early in 72. Coordinated, like uh, small ants just working towards the, the same common until the last piece was demolished. After all the deck was down, all the loaders and the support equipment came and, and took all, all that rubble and went to those piles. We actually had a fair number of residents come out though to watch. Meanwhile, Metrolinx telling us part of the reason for demolishing the bridge in the first place was to facilitate the safe construction of one of the new stations to be here on site. This project part of a flurry of activity happening now that remains largely unseen. Obviously our tunneling activities continue. We are also relocating and modernizing all the services in the area. So sewer and sanitary, hydro, gas, telecommunications, all to support the future subway project and the future infrastructure required to do that. Now when all is said and done, Progress Avenue will be lowered and will cross McCowan at grade with an intersection. At Scarborough Town Center, David Zura, City News.